Welcome YouTubers, today we'll be learning how to make PlayStation 1 copies or backups through downloading the PlayStation 1 backups onto your computer, then burning them with DVD decryptor. Alright, now let's get started. To the Hypercam! Okay, welcome to my computer screen. Today you'll need two programs, WinRAR and DVD decryptor. No, I'm not going to give you the DVD decryptor because you can find it's in my PlayStation 2 backup video, the newest one. And one more, yes, I'm going to give you it. Okay, let's go to the internet. Go under Sony PlayStation. Sorry if this turns out to be um, a little bit off the track because I've been recording this, like, I've been doing this for like. I've done multiple videos of this, and for some reason, I'm just not getting getting the best quality so bear with me if the video becomes off track just follow along just follow along what I'm doing alright you're gonna go under Sony PlayStation no this is not off the track right now you're gonna go under Sony PlayStation today's example is gonna be Spider-Man we're gonna go under the S's oh and the uh, site I'm on is romhustler.net I also recommend rombomb.com uh, both sites are great. I prefer ROM Hustler the best because it seems like everybody seem likes to use it. ROM Bomb doesn't always have the complete ROMs. As I downloaded Spider-Man from there earlier, for some reason, um, WinRAR didn't extract it all the way. It kept corrupting or some shit like that. Alright, okay, please note that all the, all the ROMs are in parts due to their file size all parts except for every last part is in 40 megabytes depending on your internet shouldn't take that long to download them all okay we're here what you're gonna do is basically download all the parts to a specific folder of your choice once done I'm gonna close the internet browser you don't have to if you don't want to once done open up WinRAR Alright, basically what you need WinRAR for is that, um, the ROMs, you j the parts you just downloaded are in RAR format, so you either have to have WinRAR or some other program that can extract RAR or sometimes 7-zip files. What you're going to do is highlight them all, press Extract to, for me I don't have to because I already have it on my desktop. You're going to extract it to a folder of your choice, after, just go... After it's done, just go to that folder of choice, and you'll see that um, there's one file that's like the biggest file here. That would be all the parts combined into one file. Can thank you in RAR. All right, what you're gonna do is extract this sing single file to another folder of your choice. Doesn't have to be; it can be the same one. Once you extract that, let me know if you have any problems. Once you once you do that, just just to make sure go to your go to the folder where you extracted the game to alright you should see well I have multiple folders here but you should see one folder if you're a first timer you should see one folder that has the name and all the other information and you'll see three three pos sometimes two po files um just a second Sorry, my computer sometimes does this if this is still recording. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Uh, like, uh, sometimes my computer my computer just resets everything on its own. Don't worry, I didn't lose my place. Alright, as I said, you'll see sometimes two to three files on that folder you got as your game. Alright. You want the biggest file, so I, the biggest file, which would be, I don't know. You'll sometimes see that the uh, biggest file, which is the actual game, is in bin or some other format. Don't worry, that's just the form. You can still burn it to a CD and it'll still work using the PlayStation 1 swap trick, which I'll show you shortly. Okay, after you find it, go to DVD Decryptor or any other program that can burn at X1 speed. Okay, we're here. What you want to do is go to Mode, ISO, Write, go to Browse, 
if you're using some other program uh, you'll know what to do just try finding the file that's the biggest file size okay since this is the only one here you're gonna assume that that it's which it is okay now you're gonna set the writing speed to the lowest possible why that speed is because uh, the game works better at that way any other speed will it probably won't work and you just probably just wasted a CD oh yeah about the format um you are you must have to bur you have to burn it onto a CD-R or CDRW. I'm not sure if CDRW works because I haven't tested it. But still, you have to burn it to a CD. No DVDs allowed ever for PlayStation One games. It just doesn't work because of the format. Okay, once you have everything set, press the right button, and now. Okay, here's the game that you just burned. And here's the trick it is today. We are using Harry Potter, the Sorcerer's Stone, because this is the only one I can find right now. Okay, so what you're going to do is use the old swap trick, except for the PlayStation 1 game. Sony. Sorry, this volume's down. Doing that for sleep reasons. Okay, logo. Pop it out. Insert your backup. Okay, it might not seem to run at first, but give it a second. Actually, give it a few seconds. And there you have it. It works. Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does spider.